Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So before I start this video, I just want to apologize for being away for a really long time. And I want to thank everyone that sent me messages on Instagram, on YouTube, you know, just encouraging me and asking where I've been and hope and how I've been and all that. So I thank you guys so much. Thank you to my new subscribers and to my old subscribers. So um, quick background information. My name is Sharon Mwosu. My dad's name is Ashley, so I call myself Sharon Ashley Mwosu. I'm 20 years of age. I'm studying aerospace engineering in my second year right now in Ukraine. Um, I've always been a good girl, good in the sense that I was brought up in a Christian home. You know, I've always had the word hammered on me by my mom and um, I never really went astray. So I've always been good, put it that way. But not until about a week ago, I just realized that I've been a comfortable Christian. Comfortable in the sense that I, I feel like because I haven't gone astray or because I'm not doing what sinners are doing then I'm living right which isn't exactly true I mean I okay yes I might be living right but spiritually I'm not noticing any significant growth like it's one thing for an unbeliever or an atheist or a sinner to transform and become more spiritual and more religious you know people are like oh yay this person has changed and now he or she is doing God's word hooray and all that but when a good person changes to be more spiritual there isn't that much of a difference because people don't notice it as, as much and that's where I found myself I mean I've always been good but I, I, I noticed that I was lacking God's fire and God, the zeal to carry out God's word on a Wednesday night I think it was about a week ago that's when all this like thoughts started coming in and I believe God was preparing <laughs> my arrest because that night I couldn't really sleep I was just thinking and on Thursday I couldn't go to school I woke up everything but I just couldn't leave the house and on Friday I had a major concert I was part of the committee members but I just couldn't go because God was dealing with me you know in the, in those two days and I thank him for that because I started realizing a lot of things about myself I was just too comfortable and I found out that at that point I was just interested in materialistic things I wanted to just look good on the outside forgetting my soul forgetting my inner man and I just you know I was crying I was like you know what God I don't want to be in this position anymore I don't want to be known for being of the world or just being plain and mediocre I don't want to be a mediocre Christian what came to my mind was all I need is you Lord that's what I kept on saying because sometimes I find it hard to pray like I can't bring out words I can't like put words together and you know start praying but so most times I talk to God and all I was saying to him was all I need is you God all I need is you and I went on YouTube I typed in all I need is all I need is you Lord and I saw some great songs by William McDowell by um, Hillsong and you know I just listened to those songs I said God I don't want anything. I don't want to be famous. I don't want public recognition. I don't want admirers, male admirers or you know female admirers. I don't want any of that. I don't want to have the whole world because what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? I said, God, please just make me yours. I want you to remember me. I want you to know me again. I want to be filled with your spirit. I want to be hot for you. I want to be able to read my Bible and understand and you know be able to preach to people. I want you know people to look at my life and see God. I'm sick and tired of being in the same position I wanted God to be you know evident in my life and you know I bless God for arresting me because if he didn't I don't know I probably would have been continuing my comfortable Christian life you know nothing was going bad but nothing was going great I was just all right and you know I didn't like that so since then since that's um since last week and now I have to say I have noticed a significant difference like right now I feel God's presence just the fact that I have been able to learn a lot of things based in, in just a week I'm just like wow what can happen if I continue like this sorry my phone and you know I'm just praying to God that he, he gives me the grace to continue to carry on living like this and I just want to conclude this video by saying I know we're young we all want to have fun and you know push God's work aside and saying that okay when we're older we'll focus on God's work that's fine I mean I'm not saying don't have fun because obviously God created the universe for us his creation to have fun but don't make having fun your your goal or your ambition or don't make 
you know acquiring possessions material possessions your mini god on your like main ambition in life because trust me all that is vanity will all pass away seek god first because now that he's he's available to us you know we're, we're just taking it for granted the bible says there will come a time when god's word will be scarce like we would literally look for god far and wide and we would not find him so right now that he's available grab onto him yes you will fall a million and one time but get up that's the most important thing you know don't be too relaxed on earth. You're not a citizen of this earth. You're a citizen of heaven. So don't act like you're a citizen of, of, of earth. And don't be don't be relaxed. You're not meant to be here forever. You know, heaven is waiting for us. So it's going to be hard for us, but I want to encourage us to really chase after God's word. Like chase after God. Focus on your spirits, focus on your inner man, not your, your out, outward appearance. People would look at you and say, look at you, oh, yesterday you were smoking weed and now you're talking about God. They would, they would want you to backslide, but trust me, don't listen to them. Just focus on your God. You know your personal relationship with Him. I don't need to post on Instagram or on Snapchat that I'm reading my Bible for people to, to know that I, I'm reading my Bible. If I if I don't post, let them think whatever they want to think. They can think, oh, Sharon is not even as religious as she, as she claims to be. But I know, I know my personal relationship with God. I know my quiet time with Him. You know, everyone's relationship is different with God. So I just want us to urge us to create that relationship with God. Like, I started reading my Bible a lot more often now. And wow, I have to admit, when I read the Bible, there comes this feeling of satisfaction, this feeling of just I trying to understand how awesome God is and I just I can't understand him but I just keep I keep wanting to read more and more sometimes I don't even want to stop but I have to stop myself because it's not a novel you have to study it you don't just read your Bible so if you haven't given your life to Christ you know please try and give your life to Christ because life is so short we don't know what could happen the next minute what if I finish making this video now and God forbid the world ends or something bad happens you know so um yeah i hope you were blessed by this video <laughs> sorry it was so long but i just had to you know pull my heart out anyways thanks for watching till i see you guys next time god bless bye